welcome to my english class class 9 chapter 7 today let us discuss an interesting poem that is nine gold medals by rob david roth in this poem we will see that this poem is on a situation of a special olympics which is meant for differently abled people or differently abled people in this poem we will see something different so that in sports or in olympics we see that uh, this is meant for competitions for winning prizes but uh, something different is needed and you will see in this poem okay let us see the uh, video first then we shall start discuss more in details about the poem David Roth refers to an incident in the Olympics where nine young men and women participated in a 100-yard running race after months of rigorous practice and strenuous hard work. Each one hoped to win a gold, a silver, or a bronze medal. The spectators had gathered to cheer the participants. As it was the last event of the day, the excitement prevailed in the entire field. The contestants were ready for the race at their assigned blocks. They were waiting for the signal from the starter pistol. They were fully charged up and began the race. Unfortunately, the youngest contestant tripped and fell on the track. He screamed with pain and frustration. All his hard work and dreams of winning a medal were ruined. Suddenly, An unprecedented scene was witnessed by the crowd. The other eight runners heard his cry and ran back in order to help him. At that moment, they had forgotten all about their own hard work. All the nine participants joined hands and walked together to the finish line. There was a banner above them that said Special Olympics. This was indeed a special sight for all the spectators who stood in astonishment. All the nine contestants were given gold medal. The ending of the race couldn't have been any better. A standing ovation was given to them by the large crowd, which appreciated the empathy shown towards their fellow contestant and the spirit of oneness executed by them. dear students in the poem nine gold medals by david roth we will learn that winning competition winning gold medals or medals is not the sole motto of a competition or a olympics and this is about the special olympics for specially or differently abled people and in this is the poem we will see that the world now needs more no more competitions but love affection fellow feeling cooperation and collaboration let us discuss the poem line by line i see something about the poet david roth was born on 10th october 1954 in bullington indiana of america he is an american rock vocalist song composer author actor and radio personality we know we have already discussed and we have guessed what is about the poem the present poem is based on an inspiring event of a race in which nine differently abled athletes took part in a special olympic event that is running race 100 yard dash in the race when one runner fell to the ground all the others stopped and returned to help him stand on his feet and they walked hand in hand to finish the race all of them won and were awarded gold medals for their empathy for each other the poem is highly educative in terms of value education in this competitive world it conveys a great message to the humanity that the world now needs no more competition but more love affection fellow feeling cooperation and collaboration is the need of the time so let us read the poem 
stanza by stanza or line by line. Let us discuss the first stanza first. The athletes had come from all over the country to run to the gold, to run for the gold, for the silver and bronze. Many weeks and months of training all coming down to these games. Once again, the athletes had come from all over the country to run for the gold, for the silver and bronze. Many weeks and months of training all coming down to these games, all coming down to these games. The, this is the first stanza. This first stanza is about how athletes from all over the country came to take part in Special Olympics, particularly in, a, in, in this particular event that is a running race. And they had to run for gold and silver and bronze medals. And they had attended long training before coming to this event. So they have dreamed of winning uh, medals. Okay, so the first stanza is about uh, the athletes, how the athletes from different parts of the country come to the Special Olympics to participate and win the medals. Okay, let us see the stanza two, a second stanza. The spectators gather around the old field. The spectators gather around the old field to cheer on all the women and men. To cheer on all the women and men. The final event of the day was approaching. The final event of the day was approaching. Excitement grew high to begin. Excitement grew high to begin. You see, my dear students, the second stanza is about the spectators in the gallery. And they are assembled around the old field. Why? To witness the running race and to cheer on the young athletes. <clears throat> we know this is about the Special Olympics for differently abled people. So the audience or uh, spectators are assembled to encourage, to cheer on the young athletes. The final event of the day was drawing near, was coming near. So there was excitement among the audience, among the athletes. So the, the spectators were also highly excited to see what was going on, who would win the race, who would get the gold medal, silver or bronze or silver medal. Okay? Come to the third stanza of the poem. <clears throat> the blocks were all lined up for those who would use them. The blocks were all lined up for those who would use them. The hundred yet dash and the race to be run. The hundred yet dash and the race to be run. These were nine resolved athletes in the back of the starting line. These were nine resolved athletes in the back of the starting line. Posed for the sound of the gun. Posed for the sound of the gun. You see? The start, third stanza is about the athletes at the starting point. Now the athletes, nine athletes, are on the starting point of true uh, for the running race. The blocks were lined up for the runners, and it was the hundred yard dash run, and they had to uh, the race to begin to be run. The runners were ready for 100 dash, 100 yard dash. All the nine athletes, resolved athletes, or determined athletes were at the back of the starting point to start the running. And they were ready and anxiously waiting to hear the sound of the gun or pistol. So when the pistol would fire, would explode, they would start running. So this is the third stanza is about <clears throat> the athletes at the starting point ready for the race. Come to stanza four. The signal was given, the pistol exploded. The signal was given, the pistol exploded. 
and so did the runners all charging ahead and so did the runners all charging ahead but the smallest among them is stumbled and staggered but the smallest among them he stumbled and staggered and fell to the asphalt instead and fell to the asphalt instead you see the fourth stanza is about the starting of the event and the incident of the event what happened the pistol exploded and there was the signal was given to the runners to start the race now the ready the determined the reserved runners started running they charged ahead they started running ahead they charged ahead but unfortunately but unfortunately the smallest among them stumbled and staggered at the beginning of the race means he fell down on the ground could not uh, could not run anymore and ultimately he, held, he fell to the asphalt fell to the ground he could run so he was extremely uh, unhappy you see the stanza for is about the starting of the running race that event and uh, what happened how they started and uh, what happened how the smallest among the nine athletes fell to the ground and was extremely uh, happy unhappy for that okay so let us see the stanza five now he gave out a cry in frustration and anguish <clears throat> he gave out a cry in frustration and anguish his dreams and his efforts all dashed in the dark his dreams and his efforts all dashed in the dark but as your as i am standing here telling this story but as your as i am standing here telling this story the same goes for what next occurred the same goes for what next occurs you see what was the situation now the fifth stanza is about the hopelessness of the boy for his failure <clears throat> the stanza 5 is about the frustration and anguish or a deep cry of that hopeless boy the hopeless boy you see that smallest boy fell down on the ground and he cried the young boy cried in frustration and anguish because he fell to the ground he could not cry could not run so he thought that his dream shattered his dream shattered and his efforts went in vain he could not run and win the race so he cried in deep anguish he was hopeless he was frustrated the narrator now standing there was telling the details of the occurrence what was going on the narrator the poet himself wrote that he was standing there telling the story in the form of the poem the same goes for what next occurred you see the same goes for what happened in the next stanza i will see what happened whether the other now what did the other eight runners do on that spot and the spectators were anxiously waiting for the situation so the same goes for what next occurred he told the narrator the poet told the same story was continuing but something occurred next in the sixth stanza we'll see what happened next stanza 6 the eight other runners pulled up on their heels the eight other runners pulled up on their heels the ones who had trained for so long to complete the ones who had trained for so long to complete compete one by one they all turned round and went back to help him one by one they all turned round and went back to help him and brought the young boy to his feet and brought the young boy to his feet the sixth stanza is about how the other runners come to his rescue the other eight runners did not move could not move 
because of their empathy, because of their sympathy. And we know time and again I say that this athletic event is a special Olympics for differently able people. They did have empathy and sympathy for their fellow people. So the other eight runners did not go ahead, did not run, they stopped running and came to his rescue. The ones who had trained for long to compete, they trained for long to compete and win the medals. But the eight other runners stopped running when the smallest boy fell to the ground. They stopped running. They could not move. They all came back. They returned. To whom? To that helpless boy. That boy. They held him stand on his feet. They held him stand on his feet. Okay. So let us see. So the sixth transaction about their behavior, the feeling, the sympathy and empathy of the other eight runners in that running event. In that case, in that event, in that Special Olympics. Okay, come to the stanza 7. Then all the nine runners joined hands and continued. Then all the nine runners joined hands and continued. The 100 yard dash now reduced to a walk. The 100 yard dash now reduced to a walk. And a banner evoked that said Special Olympics. And a banner above that said Special Olympics could not have been more on the mark, could not have been more on the mark. You see, the seventh stanza is about how the nine runners joined their hands and continued their mission. They carried a banner which said Special Olympics. That means now the runners, the nine runners, did not run. They joined hands. They, and they continued, continued, and the hundred dash uh, yard dash now reduced your work. They stopped running. They started work. They started working uh, with uh, hands, with uh, or joining their hands together, and they carried a banner, banner that is Special Olympics. Nothing could have been done more than that. That means it was the best. It was their love. It was their affection. For their, it was their fellow feeling. It was their, their cooperation and collaboration which made them great. And nothing could have been done more than that what those eight runners in that event did. The poet himself narrated and explained and they walked together to the end point of that running dress. Okay, what happened next? You see the last stanza of the poem? That's how the race ended. That's how the race ended with nine gold medals, with nine gold medals. They came to the finish line holding hands still they came to the finish line holding hands still and a standing ovation and nine beaming faces and a standing ovation and nine beaming faces said more than these words ever will said more than these words ever will this is the last not what list the poem a stanza of the poem the last stanza of the poem is about the end of the race with a unique consequence. You see, the consequence, the result is unique. And uh, the, what, what was the result? What was the consequence? What did uh, what happened next? They all touched the finishing line, still holding their hands together at the same time. Now, who were the winners? Nine athletes were winners because of their cooperation because of their collaboration, because of their love, because of their sympathy, because of their empathy, because of their affection and fellow feeling. They were the winners. The audience gave them an enthusiastic applause. They all in the audience uh, shouted and applauded. 
nine runners were awarded nine gold medals in that single event. That's why the title or the name of the poem is Nine Gold Medals for Nine Athletes in a Single Event. This is a something extraordinary which cannot be expressed. The ending conveys a message to the humanity that the world now needs no more competition, but the world now needs no more competition, but more love, affection, fellow feeling, cooperation, and collaboration. Okay, we have already completed eight stanzas of the poem. Let us do the activity. One, answer all the following questions. Who is the poet of the poem? Nine gold medals. You know, David Roth is the poet. What is this poem about? This poem is about how nine gold medals were given to nine athletes in a single event. Why did the nine athletes come from all over the country? The nine athletes come from all over the country to take part in a running event. What had the athletes completed before they came down to the games? The athletes had already completed the weeks and months of training to before they came down to the games. Why did the spectators gather around the field? The spectators gathered around the field to cheer on the young athletes. Why, what did the athlete do as soon as the pistol exploded? The athletes charged ahead as soon as the pistol exploded. Why did the boys dreams dash in the dirt? The, unfortunately, the boy fell down and could run, run. So his dreams had, um, had dashed in the dirt. What did the other runners do when the smallest boy fell to the ground? The other eight runners stopped, returned to him, uh, returned to him and helped him stand. How did the athletes come to the finishing point? The athletes all joined hands and walked together to the end line holding a banner Special Olympics. Why were they happy? They were extremely happy to help the youngest runner who fell down and all were awarded gold medals in that single event. Okay, for their empathy, for their sympathy. And uh, what message does the poem Nine Gold Medals convey? The poem Nine Gold Medals conveys the message that the world now needs no more competition, but love, affection, fellow feeling, cooperation and collaboration. Okay, I think you have understood the poem. Read the poem again and again. Watch the video again and again. You will have a good idea and understanding about the poem. Thank you everybody.